my name is Faith Ann, and welcome to my end of April garden tour. We will be starting on the far end of the garden. We have leeks, which are looking pretty good. I've never grown leeks before, so I'm pretty happy with them so far. Here's some lettuce and the celery that we grew from seed. The celery is looking pretty good. It got chomped by a bunny a little while ago, but it has all but one popped back up. Here are some carrots. Here's my chamomile plant. It's looking amazing. I think it's getting ready to flower. The spinach is looking okay, but it's still pretty small. Here's some radishes, which are a little bit yellow from the cold the other night, but they are starting to bulb up. There's a container with a few more carrots, and then over here, there is an asparagus. I started him from seed and planted him last year, and he's come back. So far he is the only one, but according to the Missouri Extension Office here in Missouri, uh, asparagus should start showing up between April 20th and I think mid-June, so there's still time for the others to show up. And here's the artichokes, which are all looking pretty pathetic. Uh, the one in the big pot got eaten by a squirrel, and the other two are just looking pretty sad. They were the smaller ones from the beginning, but I'm hoping they'll perk up. The tulips are almost done for the year. The trellis was too high for the pea plants to reach, so I added a line of twine underneath it. Hopefully the peas will begin to hold on in just a little while. some kale and cabbages. Some of the cabbages died, but the kale is still looking okay. Here are the strawberry plants. They are just beginning to think about flowering. I also have some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, and a lot of mint. I know that you're not really supposed to plant brassicas in with your strawberries. You're also really not supposed to have mint in with your strawberries. And this mint pops up all over this corner. He's also starting to pop up over here in this other garden bed next to a little blueberry bush. Look at him, he's just a cute little guy. Probably my two biggest challenges that I see so far in the garden are blackberry shoots starting to pop up everywhere and dandelions. We have a new peach tree. The strawberry plants over here are looking great. The tulips here are looking amazing and the vegetable bed is looking pretty good. The Brussels sprouts got a little purple in the cold, and I think that this is some bird damage on the leaves as well. I have some turnips. This broccoli plant is looking amazing. I'm so pleased with how this one's growing. They're all looking okay, but this guy is just the star of the broccoli plants. Over here, I have some lettuce, some calendula, and some little areas where I've been direct sowing things. I also have that little teepee in between the tulips, it has peas in it. The kale that came back from last year is beginning to form a blossom.
Here are some peas that are just beginning to hold on to their new trellis. This is the time of the year where I carry around a bag full of seed packets. This will be all the things that I can be direct seeding in my area. It's really easy, even with this mulch, push the mulch aside, scuff up the dirt a little bit so that you can plant your seeds to the desired depth and just pick out what seed packet you wanna throw in. I have things like Swiss chard, beets, cilantro, dill, radishes, lettuces, all sorts of things can be going in the ground right now. 